If purpose is the light that guides us through life, warming us in darkness, warding us from danger, then Barbara Grant is a woman on fire. I believe that, that God put me here for some reason and not to sit around wasting time and to try to make a difference. And, um, and I guess that's kind of what has always kept me peeking into things that are none of my business. Barbara turned that darkness, those things that were none of her business, into her life's purpose. The spark came from childhood, young eyes bearing witness to injustice during a struggle for civil rights. It occurred to me that the Pledge of Allegiance and all of the stuff I was seeing every night weren't consistent. Being really, you know, sensitive to what was happening to us and, and, and the unfairness of it and, and uh, really kind of set the tone for the rest of my life. The tone, a call to action in journalism. As news director of WDAS Radio, she anchored and produced Drive Time Newscast, working with and managing iconic personalities, one of the few to gracefully transition to television. Every other major American city with a large African-American population has a black-controlled bank. There are two in L.A. and two in Chicago and five in Atlanta. But there hasn't been a black bank in Philadelphia since 1956. She joined the inaugural team at the then upstart Channel 29 as a reporter. Always focused on tough social, civic, and political issues, Barbara covered topics like youth violence, the crack epidemic, and HIV in the community. Then helping the Inquirer get its fledgling broadcast off the ground, she supervised a staff of 50 journalists as a managing editor for the Emmy-nominated Inquirer News Tonight. She eventually would become the managing editor at Channel 3. All aimed at informing the public and through the recognition of her work, enriching Philadelphia's black community, both with an overabundance of knowledge and by shattering glass ceilings as an African-American woman with real power. I think one of the things that you have to um, understand and accept as a black journalist is that you have an extra responsibility. I mean, so you know that most of the time coverage of what's happening in our community is skewed, is looked at through um, other kinds of lenses and that people don't necessarily understand our stories. One of those stories, Philadelphia's infamous 1985 move bombing, leaving 11 people dead, including five children. When you look at the people in our industry that we really admire most, it's because they dug down and you can say after you see their stories, wow, I didn't know that before. Barbara would expose concealed truths, cultivate independent sources, and provide a narrative that wasn't being explored. On top of that, she served as one of only two news anchors to serve on the MOVE Commission broadcast to the city. After the, the, the story aired, someone sent me a card and said that your ancestors would be proud. This accomplished journalist has indeed led a life of public service as communications director for the School District of Philadelphia, creating a curriculum guide for parents and a literacy festival for children. As City Hall staff manager or communications director for the former Philadelphia Mayor John Street, handling public information during events that shook the city, and now as a founding partner and communications expert at Cardenas Grant Communications. The city is just a really important part of who I am, and, and I got to love this place. And, um, and a lot of it also is a reflection of um, wanting to tell the story of what is happening to African Americans. That work led to recognition and success. Nominated for four Emmy Awards, honored by the Philadelphia City Council and Radio Television News Directors Association, named as one of the hundred most influential African Americans by the Philadelphia Tribune. Barbara Grant's name is forever etched in Philadelphia history. I set out to sell stories, so I, I did that, but And, and I think, I think my biggest achievement is that people, mothers, have come up to me and said that their little girls wanted to be reporters because they saw me. And, and, and I think that that is, is all worth it because it means that the storytelling will continue. Through the course of a lifetime, a life's work, Barbara Grant not only told that story, she advanced it, a 
Lifetime of Achievement, awarded by the Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists, now tasked with the impossible duty of not just holding a candle, but taking up the torch from a woman on fire. I don't want to get all weepy about it, but it, it just means the world to me. It really does. The Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists honors Barbara Grant with the 2015 Lifetime Achievement Award.